Hey guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty. It is the end of the first week of February, so it was a short week. It was, what, Thursday through whatever. Yeah, it was a four day week for the month of February. So in those four days, I made $279. I spent $27 on gas, which I was under on gas last month, so maybe this will also last me through the end of the month. That would be awesome if that works out. Dining out, I spent $56. Groceries, I spent $48. And gifts, I spent $18. That was for the third birthday party of the little girl I nanny. So short, simple week. I have $130 going in to week two. So you can see this is my new setup for the month. It's a little bit simpler looking than it was last month. I just had some darker washi tape that I put over. It doesn't completely obscure the word, which bothers me, but it also is less of a headache than it was last month. So we'll see how this goes. And then there's just random decorations on here. Looking pretty good. Oh yeah, you can see my new monthly setup. I like to keep track of dates when I don't spend money because I end up spending way more money each day than I've realized. And I think just being aware of that will help me keep track of things like that. And plenty ahead, I'm gonna need to buy a plane ticket to go visit my soon to exist nephew. Next month is gonna be our renter's insurance annual bill. Oh yeah, and then again, buying a gift for my nephew. Then my monthly goal is to make as much money as possible. It's a short month, so it's important to really stay on top of that and to pay off my credit cards. Let's hope it finally happens this month. And then I have $168 in my computer fund from my savings goal, which I have yeah, in the front. I'll show you that. And there's a motivational quote that says progress, not perfection, which I think is pretty fitting to a budgeting month. Here's my monthly setup, by the way. It's just got little icons for everything and the amounts. Pretty simple, same as every month. It's just to keep track of the dates and things like that. And my savings challenge this month is $12 this first week, which I didn't actually include on here, but I'll add it in just a moment. $72 the next week, $12 the next, $72 the next. So really overall in the month, I think you end up saving the same, or yeah, saving close to the same amount each week. It's just different from week to week to keep it interesting. Yeah, so the savings I'll add $12 and that will bring it down to, let's see if I can do math, 118 I believe is what it'll take it down to. So 118 going into next week once I transfer that money from one account to the next. That's it. You can see each month I've been keeping track of quotes that I find in my day-to-day -day life. There's a few others I need to add, but I don't know if you guys follow it, but Budget Girl just did her debt-free scream on the Dave Ramsey show, and I was having a really tough day that day, and so being able to turn on YouTube and watch her live debt-free scream was really inspirational, and one of the things she said when she first finally committed to being debt free and going the distance that way she said it was so I never have to be that scared again and that really inspired me especially on that day that was very very bad so that is my month thank you guys so much for watching not my month well my monthly spread it was my week and I will talk to you guys again so soon probably next week or maybe tomorrow or maybe sooner or later I don't know filming these videos. I never know which video goes in which order until it's already posted. All right. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.